out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, and too pricey. If you want to tackle an electronics project, the first choice is often Raspberry Pi computers or Arduino boards. You have a great community and lots and lots of tutorials to get started. But you'll find out that Raspberry Pi computers are out of stock for months or are too expensive. My name is Milch Tütenente and today I want to show you what alternatives are available to make your electronics project real. Let's start with the most popular model, the Raspberry Pi. With this high quality product at a small price, it has revolutionized the world of single board computers. Today, Raspberry Pi is used not only by hobbyists, but also in industry and in developing countries as a full-fledged Linux computer. Due to its wide range of capabilities and attractive price, availability has been low in recent years. There is almost no stock available for consumers for years. This can also be read on the official blog. This situation is not pleasant for hobbyists. The boards have become much more expensive to purchase and retailers are taking advantage of the situation to sell the boards at a high price or with unnecessary accessoires. On Amazon Germany you can actually still find boards. The Raspberry Pi 4B is currently available for about 160 Euro. The Pi 2 costs about 95 Euro. I also have three Raspberry Pis lying around at home. I will show you how much I paid for them. My first Raspberry Pi was the Pi Model B Plus in a complete starter kit with 6 accessoires for 57 euros. My second Raspberry Pi was about 32 euros and my third Raspberry Pi was also about 32 euros. Inflation drives up the prices. Some increase is understandable, but these current prices are just too much. Let us look into the alternatives. I have identified the Pine64 as a good alternative. It is currently in stock on Amazon Germany. With the Pine64 you have a single board computer with which you can do everything you could already do with a Raspberry Pi. In this channel I will also present a separate video soon. At the current moment the Pine64 costs about 40 euro. That's a fair price, get it as long as it's in stock. The Raspberry Pi Zero is my favorite single board computer. This small board runs a complete Linux system. I use Raspberry Pis to build myself a Game Boy Nano. You can read more about this in my blog post. That was so cool and that was the moment I was so convinced about this board. After I wanted to order new Pi Zeros a few months later, they just weren't available anymore. Until this day, the availability of Pi Zeros is still very poor. On Amazon you can actually buy also Pi Zeros for about $84. And that's an astonishing amount for a computer that normally costs only $10. A very good alternative seems to be the Banana Pi Zero. The Banana Pi Zero has the same dimensions and almost the same functionalities as the Raspberry Pi Zero. For a price of about €32, Euros, it is much more affordable. I will continue my Game Boy Nano project with it and do my future tutorial with the Banana Pi Zero. I will go into more detail about this in another video. Recently there was an article published where I found out that there will be a new board from Pine64. This is going to be an alternative to the Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi Pico. A Linux computer for about $8. It will start in November. And I'm already very hyped and will report more about it as soon as it comes out. Let us now look into Arduino. With Arduinos there are no bottlenecks like with Raspberry Pis, but also here you realize as a hobby electronics engineer that the prices are high. The Arduino Uno is an excellent entry level board. On Amazon the price is currently about 27 euros. You will find quite a bunch of alternative boards. This seller offers an Arduino compatible board where you can get 3 boards for 22 euros. I tried this board and other boards from other brands and was surprised. You actually hardly notice a difference and they are great alternatives. Since the boards are Arduino compatible, all instructions, source codes and sensors can be used with alternative boards as well. The next board I want to take a look at is the Arduino Nano. This is a great board for building IoT devices that use little power and work with sensors. For smart home use cases this board is very good. However, the price of the Arduino Nano is significantly overpriced in my opinion. It costs about 17 euros per board. Here too there are Arduino Nano compatible boards that are great alternatives and come along for a fraction of the price. 
Since you often need a board, you can get several here. This seller provides 5 nano boards for about 32 euros. So just 6 euro per board. I have a blog post where I investigate the power consumption of the nano to build battery powered devices. I link to that article in the description. Let us come to a conclusion. You don't have to rely on individual board manufacturers. There are plenty of alternatives to start an electronics project. Alternative boards are often compatible with the brand boards and you do not have to accept any disadvantage. In further videos I will go into detail about each individual board. Follow me to be notified. But that's it for today. If you like my video, I would be grateful for a like or subscription. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.